All right, everyone, it's uh, Steve again. So I've decided on Monday when I started, yeah, I think it was Monday, maybe Sunday, I decided to start writing all my stories. Oh, yeah, it was Sunday I decided to do this after Misha Johnson's group. And a few people were like, wow, you need to just keep coming here. I, I'm like, you know what, I think it's time for me to tell my story of what was occurring to me in the last 10 years. So that's what it seemed like. Um, that was like the tour or like what I needed to do. Um, it all started when I was 30. And then it pretty much ended around. I mean, it, didn't, it hasn't ended. But like the really the extreme stuff seems to have subsided. And it took about three years total. To, to do so from no four see 2019 to 2023 so four years of like all this astral work after my kundalini awakening but the whole process lasted 10 years so i decided to make a book i have tons of stuff written down stories on my computer i'm putting it all together and um right now i'm about 18 pages in um i i'm writing this stuff and i just can't believe the things that i wrote very detailed of like how I experience it. Um, I try to visualize everything and then make things move around my body and then like energy centers will like open up and then like these easy easy fork feelings start occurring that you like focus on it and stuff and then you just let it move up and move around. And I, I've been doing this since twenty fourteen. It started off slow, things were blocked and then slowly I started just working on everything and I started having breakthroughs and it continued my journey further and, uh, and then I ended up 2019 having my big kundalini awakening was not expecting it threw me off guard but I mean I'm not surprised it occurred because for those five years I was working hard meditating connecting my field to other entities getting dreams in and whatnot and stuff like that and I'll be I'll be talking about this all in my book and some of these stories I will share on, on YouTube I don't know maybe eventually starting like pictures and stuff together and then, like making like a slide we'll see but um, I just like getting the story out there you can use your mind to um, visualize what I'm saying you know because that's your strongest asset is your visualization it's connected to your creativity so if you can visualize things just by like hearing them and just thinking about it, you're off to, I mean, pictures are wonderful too. And, um, which I will, I mean, that's honestly, I would look at tons of photos, Pinterest, videos would like make my energy start moving around, you know, you get the shivers and stuff like that and, and the energy starts pouring in or like your third eye opens up as soon as you read something. Like it's freaking wild what has occurred. And um, there's a long way to go with this book, I think. I mean, I'm already uh, 16 pages. I'm at 9,500 words right now. And I just started this on Sunday night. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's not a lot. But I did, I did uh, mark days down on, like, the beginning of my weekend. I just wrote it all down when it happened. But I was messaging people on Facebook about my experiences and I'm connecting the dates that I tell them what I was saying with my notebook because I usually would tell someone what happened to me and then like I would journal it or whatever. So I'm kind of like matching it up and there's always, uh, uh, there's always one guy that I was always sending to everything that happened to me. So it's just like this chronological thing. It's amazing. And like I just, it, it's just crazy because it's like, it's so progressive, like it starts off slow, okay, you these little, okay, you open up this channel, and that channel, and then you get, the, and then something comes in, and now it, now you go through there, and like connect higher, and then now you're ready for the big leagues, and like, with the kundalini, you know, you, and it was just like, it was never an ego thing, it was just me like, feeling the energies, and seeing what would come in, and then these things would just occur, and I would go, I would just follow, you know, I would follow, follow all that, you know, opening up things and finding the answers. And it, it, ended, it got 
you know, when it really got freaking crazy was when the, the shadow woke occurred when I started coughing, crying, and, um, like, shaking violently sometimes when, like, these, these traumas would come up. So it's true. Like, all this, all these traumas are locked in ourselves. And if we don't release this, what, what kind of genetic diseases are caused because trauma is messing with the DNA of the ability for the molecule to replicate and stuff? Like, it's trauma. Trauma from past lives. All, your soul has a memory, and that memory gets deep lodged into your astral body. And then, you know, like, whatever is created in the physical is also manifested in the astral. So there's, you, know, you got to connect everything together for everything to work correctly, or you're, you know, you know, your body's going to break down faster than it should. And I just been learning all this stuff, doing all the energy work and whatnot. But here's a story of um, what I've written. I'll I'll do my my prelude to the Kundalini, and uh, I'll do um, the activation. And then maybe another video, I'll, I'll do the one where I, like, go up into, like, this black hole AI mainframe where I shot a binary code sequence. Um, so the prelude to Kundalini. August 4, 2019, I decided to ask my dear friend if I can go see him. He agreed to hang out, so me and my twin brother drove to Buffalo. He was working at Duke's Bohemian Grill and Bar, and we decided to have some dinner there. After our meal... My brother decided to leave and go back home as I waited for my buddy to get out of work. We ended up walking to the park adjacent to the bar called Days Park. We would take some LSD and I was accompanied by his girlfriend who was also a Reiki practitioner. She told me she was an Aries and very empathic. She stated she was very visual on the energy around her and explained she has a hazy field when it activates. Before we started, I saw my dear buddy use two sticks to create a sacred field around us. In the center was a big tree that helped create the field. I sensed the energy around us as a bubble, possibly to protect us from outside interference. The temperature also got warmer inside the field. I was able to sense the energy pulse from my entire body as she rested her hands on my back, absorbing all the repressed energy from my childhood. The universe told her, that she must take on the power to hold on and transfer back. As we connected deeper, I was able to feel how to draw energy from a source that was connecting to my own field. I was able to sense her entire body just by having her finger on my back. She felt it as well and said it was getting too intimate. At times she had to stop as it was very overwhelming as I drew too much from her, trying to purge the trauma of the blockage. I felt rushing sensations of bliss emanating from my third eye. I began to cry as well as this trauma was breaking up and began to and I began to breathe heavily with short breaths while rocking back and forth. It appeared the back pain I was experiencing was the energy block that she was working on. I felt my heart open up as she continued to work on me. I felt like I had been caressed by loving hands as she kept her fingers on my back. It filled my heart with loving sensations which had been lacking in my life. A druid body kept maintaining the field as we performed the alchemy of healing with his dowsing rods. She made my energy she read my energy as blue sky white and can penetrate energy fields of others. She has never seen an energy singer like mine before and seemed to enjoy interacting with it. After sobbing a few times, she then gave back my energy when she placed her hand on my foot where it transferred back to my body. I began to feel my foot pulse with warm energy as I began to laugh in the manic manner. It made me feel very jubilant and happy. I noticed my back wasn't feeling tight and some of my shoulder pain went away. Some of the sensations and all was it felt like a string was connected when she put her hand on my back. I also felt a lot of heat on my on my back to the top of my head. I felt it felt like a goodbye and things will be okay to handle it. The energy crossed over into the sexual realm, which made her feel a bit uncomfortable. She was very gentle and said that the universe was directing her. My legs were getting numb and it felt like they were cramping up. She also explained that when I release this com completely, I will feel much better. I learned that the human mind could connect to other people's energy. This would start to begin. This was the start of the beginning of my eventual Kundalini awakening a week later. So that was August 4th. 
And then on August 10th, this, this occurred to me. I signed up at my local Reiki Center for an attunement on August 10th, 2019. I was very excited and looked forward to it. After my session with that woman, I was really interested in learning the ropes. It was a two-hour course explaining where it came from and learning the symbols we, we will use. She gave us a binder full of information that we read through. At the end, she would attune us to the entry and have us use it between each other to practice for 10 minutes. There were about five other people in the class, and the practitioner assessed our chakras, seeing what was open. She gave us each a pendulum to check which chakra were open and needed work. After explaining everything, she had us sit in rows in the middle of the room. First, she had us enter a meditative state and walked us up each chakra. I saw myself on a brick road, and on each side were flowers that were in the colors of my chakras. Colors of the flowers changed as I walked further on the road, going from red to orange, then yellow, blue, and purple. At the end was the gate that Rachel explained she was when she connected to my field. Here, I jumped over the gate and met a man that was waiting for me on the other side. I grabbed his hand, and it looked like a wizard like Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. I then saw five rings move over us with a bright flash, and immediately I was back in my body's awareness. She went to each person and tuned us to the field of Riki. When she got to me, she put her hands above my head, and I saw a rainbow dragon with fangs that looked quite fierce. I saw it enter my body, which made me feel uneasy and thought to myself, what did I get myself into? Right away, my body's temperature began to rise. The practitioner put symbols on my hands, which made my hands very hot, and I felt energy begin to surge from them. After she performed this to the students, she had us work with each other, and I noticed I was able to sense people's damage in their bodies. I was able to send energy to the areas that needed to be worked on. She explained that there will be a 20-day period where the body will begin to detox the energies that weren't for our highest good. About two hours late after the attunement, this is when my entire life changed. I felt an enormous explosion at my cosmic bone that sent me to the floor in agony. I felt as though my hips just blew out and energy began rising up my spine, hitting each chakra point. I was breathing heavily as I felt energy flying out of my hands, neck, head, shoulders, and back. The color was that of a rainbow flying in all directions. My body began to shiver, and my legs were very heavy, and my arms were very dull. The tip of my nose then developed an enormous static ball that was vibrating. I crawled to the edge of my mudroom and sit down at the step. Breathing heavy in and out, I began to really focus on my breath. My back was on fire, and I felt intense heat flying from my aura and my shoulders. I was trying to stop it, but then I surrendered to the moment. I forced air out of my chest to try and deal with the back, with my back and the constant shivering of energy entering my body. Moments of focus and breathing kept entering my awareness to help ease the release. This is when the most intense moment occurred within me. I began to cry. And this is when I saw what I was coming out of in the higher dimensions. And as I was existing in both dimensions simultaneously as my pineal gland was surging with energy. I was surrounded by jagged objects which were devastated by some sort of blast from above. There were objects crumbling and felt very chaotic. As I felt the area I was in, I noticed a lot of black geometric lines all around me that were thick. These lines were connected to my upper back. It were blown out by the blast that freed me. The yellow beam then began to pull me up from the devastated pit that I was in. These black structures in the form of a grid that began to try and wrap themselves around me. But the yellow beam that surrounded me would burn them up. It was as if I was being brought back up from the lake of fire. And I saw billions of bodies burning and suffering in scorched earth landscape. The black structures continued and try and latch back on me all the way to the top but were burning in this golden field. I kept saying I was sorry. I asked my ancestors to assist me 
in this critical time. They all came to comfort me. I felt lots of forgiveness and continued to cry for about a half hour. I had a hard time moving my legs so I stayed sitting. And then said I understand. And I began to be reconnected to an energy that turned my tears into happy moments. This is when I saw angels begin to descend above me from the pit I was coming out of. Extraordinary heat began flying out of my upper back and shoulders. Once I reached the top, the angels grabbed me and threw me to the side of the pit I came out of. I heard one of them saying, Looks like someone is having a bad day. Which I couldn't believe what I heard. I thanked them to their, for their help, and they then flew away. Now on the side, all this black metallic goo comes flying out of my back where my wings now occupy. The ground I came out of began to seal up, but I got a good look at it. It looked like a grid of lines which was in the form of sacred geometry. When the hole sealed up, I then got up and began to walk. There was a few palm trees in the distance, but was a desert landscape. The entity appeared before me and told me something that I couldn't make out, but notice he had a crystal crown on his head. He pointed at the direction which I needed to go. I then saw myself enter a yellow ball and lifted to the cosmos. I returned to my body's awareness fully and began to get calmer, feel my field around me begin to reconfigure and get stronger. I returned to my base state. After this ordeal, I then went to work having pride in my ability to recover quickly. If I wasn't in great shape, I don't think I would have been able to recover so quickly. I then get a memory. I was around for the Independence War, and Thomas Paine's energy came up as well. The next day, me and my brother decided to go see a concert at Sculpture Park to enjoy some music. As I sat on the lawn, I was getting information from my mind's eye. I take time for a refreshing swim on a water planet. It was a great time to reflect on what I went through. I felt very calm as my angelic self was laying on the rocks for hours, soaking up the sun. My wings sparkled in the air and it dawned on me. I am an angel. I will not disappoint my creator and an intense honor was bestowed upon me. The next day in my mind's eye, I saw myself move my way through the universe, watching the planets and stars pass by me. I then see the sun on the horizon. It was yellow with darkness all around. I came right next to it, and it began to telepathically speak to me. I am very proud of you, but much work is needed to be done. All right, the reading. I really started to get real passionate there at the end. So that was I can like feel I can like feel my like, the, like it's just like this vibration like of like I feel, I feel it like my heart's like really spinning talking about it. Oh my god, oh my, my head's like spinning. <laughs> but uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, I mean, there there's stories like this. Every single one is like this. It's almost, well, not every one, but, like, for most of it, it's just, like, boom, bang, boom, bang. It did slow down in 2021, but that was because I just got out of the psych ward again, and they were giving me drugs and stuff like that, and that was rough. I was, like, I was, like, so mad that, like, there's more that needs to be done, and then in 2022, it all just occurred. And, you know, just, like, General Patton, you know, he, quick. Boom, 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 boom. You hit it quick and you go fucking move on, you know? And that's what we were doing. It was just like these crazy tours of dudes. Like every fucking day, you know, sometimes it would be like something fucking grandiose. And you know, it's it's like, like, you know, you're working with like these generals and stuff when when things things like, like these things would occur to me, like when I'll do on these missions, which I will, I'll talk about later. But that's, that's like the prelude to everything. I'm like really excited. I've been just been writing for hours just to try to get this all together correctly and it feels good like i, I just from reading that man i'm like Whoa! <laughs> it's like that was powerful for me to like talk about that really from the heart all right Whoa, i'm so excited <laughs>